Hello, my name is Emmanuel Temwendo Nyama. I'm working for Partners in Health with my colleague, Dr. Mata Pacino. We are in charge of running the hepatitis B clinic, the only one of the only two clinics in the country and the only hepatitis B clinic in the rural areas. Uh, the burden of hepatitis B disease in our country is a public health concern. And this is why we face the problem and we are here to present uh, the activities and the operations we did after one year. So on the next slide you say uh, is a map of Sierra Leone and the map of Connor District. The map on my far left, which is blue in color, is the map of Sierra Leone our country. The yellow section, orange section of the map on my right hand is the map of Connor District with different catchment areas of, of community health centers. The district consists of 15 chiefdoms where we have the reference of patients coming to the healthcare facility. The, the population of the district is about 500,000 people and we have 97 primary healthcare facilities with only one secondary healthcare facility, which is Kwedu Government Hospital to be specific, where the clinic is located. And 75% of this population lives in the rural areas. So the burden, as, as I said earlier, that it is very challenging for, for people, patients in particular, to access the secondary healthcare facilities because of the poor road network, particularly in the raining seasons, where we find ourselves. For example, it takes someone more than two hours to access the healthcare facility from one community health center to the district referral hospital. So the next slide you see represents a picture which is showing how the hepatitis B clinic runs. The hepatitis B clinic is one is part of the non-communicable disease unit in the hospital. Our team consists of two doctors, three nurses, one CHO, one M and E officer, and one clerk. The first picture on my far left, you see, shows the entrance into the clinic. And at the bottom is an examination room with Dr. Chamber and Pumba, one of our nurses in the clinic. Previous to the medical approach is that the patient is linked and registered. After the first visit, the patient comes to the clinic with the laboratory and ultrasound scanning investigations. One of the innovations we are doing in the last six months is the use of gene expert to determine the viral load in order for us to know the indication of treatment for the patients besides ultrasound scanning and then also the clinical findings and the APRA tests. The last picture at the right bottom shows what a pharmacy technician, which is who is rendering, who is giving medication to a patient, to no COVID, who met the criteria for treatment. All of these services we are rendering to the patient are free of cost. So these are one of the figures we want to share with all of you. As you can see, on April 2020, 351 patients were enrolled in the clinic. And most of our patients are coming from the outpatient department and not so many, so many from the screening areas of the antenatal care of the protocol. Almost 30% of our patients don't have any level of education. And this is a big challenge when we have to explain them about the sickness. One of the main gaps is that only 50 to 70 percent of our patients have the completed baseline assessment when they have to the cleaning, clinic for the first or second time and also uh, or the main concern is like we have uh, around 30 percent of loss of follow-up 
after one year of, uh, of running the clinic. And now we are, we are doing, we are implementing a, a system of relink patient and also we are trying to analyze the reason for this loss of follow-up, including the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is a brief uh, summary about our patients on treatment. As you may see, 12.8 of our patients have indication of treatment, 82.2% of those uh, successfully initiated the treatment, and 94.6% are uh, still on treatment and linked to the clinic. The last thing I want to share is like 35.5 of our patients started the treatment with a decompensated situation of the cirrhosis, but none of those patients after one year on treatment have presented new decompensations or hospitalizations or there. So as you may see, we can run a, a big, strong program for hepatitis B, even in areas with very, very low resources. And we also think that these clinics can be run for non physician health workers. Um, as in anywhere, there are some challenges we are trying to face. One of these is like the, the incomplete baseline information. We are trying to create like a pre test system in which when the patient comes to the first visit, they have all the tests done before coming. We are trying to face our loss of follow up with an active program of follow up of close patient by phone calls. Also, we are uh, implementing home visits for the most vulnerable ones of the compensated patients, and we are doing training uh, about patient education with our health workers. We are working with a national program to review the indications of treatment. We are trying to open the indication uh, uh, to patients with lower levels of viral load and ALT um, elevated levels. And uh, for the inadequate screening in some areas of the hospital, we are trying to create a program and a standardized referral system. So this is this is all. Thank you so much for listening, and we are waiting for your questions. Thank you.